Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Welcome back to Transport Fever. I did uh, fix our coal slash metal train since last time because uh, I wanted the electric trams and the fast moving gondolas because they did pop up at the end of the episode. That's not what I wanted. And we can see here who's making money and who's not. Seems like everybody's making decent money. It's the past three years. I feel like because I built this track, it was so expensive. Um, and are you only getting like half loads? Yeah, you're only getting. Which is not cool. And y'all got plenty of timber over here. This is like a steam train with slow cars on it, so. I'm gonna condition bad. So let's place this guy. God, the big boy is so unnecessary. Uh, we want to do electric? Probably. We're going to have to upgrade this track first. We'll do high speed electric. Oh, this is a high speed track. What am I talking about? Yeah, so just swap that guy. Swap him out. You do 120, you do 160, you do 140. Your use is just 55 years. The attractive effort is a little bit less. But we're paying less for you. Is this one that does 120? Yes. I believe it's pretty flat track. Oh, you guys want 23 million for that, though. That's a lot of money. We can speed it up, though. I'll put those back on. That way, our because uh, <clears throat> our our boat that's shipping over the planks isn't leaving full. So we're honestly kind of wasting money because he's not uh, running full. Yeah, cause this guy only gets up to 70, 80. Yeah, he runs at 80. And this guy hauls 60. This guy will be running 200 faster than he's running 60. Yeah, and they're loading him up to the max every time. Earnings are indeed struggling. We're not uh, making as much as we could be. That's for sure. Now we need to look at the rest of our vehicles because those are in good condition, those are in good condition. So you're bad. You need to get swapped out. You're bad, you need to get swapped out. 
All the locomotives are smoked. Everybody else recently got changed, right? Okay, so really it's trains are our problems right now. It's all these big financial decisions that are hurting us. If we would stop spending money, we would be okay. Which is funny to say, but... Need a bunch of people to cash in. We're gonna hang out here for a minute and see what this dock looks like once uh, he delivers his first full load, I should say. Cause you should go back there and get a full load, cause that dock is loaded. Should be able to make more than one trip by the time the boat goes there and back. Like, he's flying at 120 miles an hour. Full load. should definitely help our plant situation. Mm. And maybe this guy can start leaving with more. Because even then he's still only a quarter full. Thank you. I don't know why my... I think after that last big update, they reset all my stuff. Because I don't remember where the tips was. Oh yeah, guide system. Beat it. Stop it. 
I was popping up the whole whole time in the last episode and I totally forgot to update that. I'm almost started to wonder if it would be a better idea to get double track on this. But he hasn't even made it over there yet, so. Yeah, we're starting to pile along where I'm here. I mean, that's all the lumber they haven't even gotten through yet, so. The goal is what, 220? I have 220 sitting here before he gets here. <clears throat> He's running on his way back with another full load. And we might need to rinse and repeat. Almost full. He's getting better. If, if they can pump out enough lumber. What's sitting out here? About 300. So he takes about half of it every time he comes and goes. Stinks is the way I designed that. I could have done that better. But this lumber yard is basically full. But it's about to level up, so it's about to start spitting those things out. Well, let's go check in on our other trains and we'll come back to this. There was a level up. There it goes. I just heard it. Yep. They are now kicking. And uh, I thought there was another lumber yard somewhere. We could always run. Or we could put a dock there too, but God only knows if they're putting enough out. This is where we're still running our goods out of. And Burbank must be absolutely huge by now. Because, yeah, we've just been feeding them and feeding them and feeding them. But they also need fuel over here. And I don't know if we've been doing that as well. But, anyway. Choo choos. The fuel was bad. Everything else is bad, right? Oh, they're good. So, we need to go look at this guy. What we need to do is look at that track, which probably isn't high speed. Because it's not.
two leagues will pause. Send them back on their way. Now this guy. I'm gonna go with another electric. 120, 160. I can do 140. I didn't notice that. The attractive effort was still pretty good. So let's add one of those. And what do we have on here? We had gondolas. It's seven of those. Which you're already struggling. Because those are the much smaller gondolas. Those were 12. These are 18. So we can probably have one less. We had three boxcars on there. And then we had three. Three of those. It probably doesn't even fit in here. <clears throat> oh man, he took everything. Over here. Kind of good. So we could realistically we could put a port here and start making some big money on it. But we have more trains to take care of. This guy's over here. I have totally forgotten where this guy is at and working. That's right, he's over here. Probably slogging. So we need to go back in here. could just pick up fuel from here directly with a tanker and send it somewhere else to pick up uh, crude or anything else we wanted to pick up. Okay, once he gets in between the stations we're going to pause so we can reconfigure these. This one, it might get a little bit more confused as well. Oh no, I took it just fine. Great. Now we have to configure this guy. 
I do, I'm, uh, like I always say, I'm a huge steam train fan, but I do also like big, useful diesel electrics. I mean, when it comes to making money in the world of the future, that's just kind of what it becomes. this poor guy. Let's take care of him. Electric. I do like you to go the fastest. You have pretty good pulling power. And now we can get these new tankers that are 18 versus his, what, 14 of those. Tells me it's good. Get 11 versus 14. They can still go fast. I'm gonna load up the fuel. Should take all of that oil. Yeah, he did. They basically maxed out. So we want to bring in more, more oil. That's for sure, because we're giving them fuel. Oh, and we could bring those back with us if we gave flanks to okay we have a slight game plan going then but which way is that boat going to travel where can I pick up oil in between because if it leaves here it's probably going to come through here but it can't because of that bridge I don't know if they're actually going to be able to find a way through here I mean, we could definitely help this plant produce more fuel. Uh, let's see. That was all of our trains fixed, though, right? Yes, yes. Good, 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 good. Oh, you know, we need to go double check real quick, though. Let's see how this guy's doing. Is he leaving with, like, a full load now? Or is he still getting partial loads? Looks like he's still getting partial loads. He's not getting enough. And they're not getting enough. So. We want to have large, uh, just one terminal is fine. Mm. 
that's retire, but it can't break. So. If we have... So I should be able to make... Oh, not that. New line. You're going to go here, and you're going to go there. That's it. When you get here, you're going to load that. When you get here, you're going to unload that. Is there anything you can bring back with you that would be helpful? Not really. Which kind of stinks. Well, I, well, if you bring back planks, though, it kind of destroys the cause. Yeah, the amount of stuff you have to pack into these uh, places to get them to double over is insane. That one, that one's been running since we started. It's never gotten to that first level. But we're making adjustments. We're coming up with plans. So yeah, we could run stuff from the dock to here. Run these back. Take those over with us. To uh, whoever needed those. Somebody needed them. But they also need goods here. And fuel. And food. Well, the food's taken care of, right? Yeah, the food's taken care of, so we could run fuel here, we could run goods here. Hmm. If he delivered, picked up, no. Yeah, delivered, picked up, and brought back. So he could bring, f okay, so if we had him leave here with logs, leave him there. He could take planks with him over to there, just to help. So he's not running empty, I guess. And then he could pick up the fuel here. But we're still not getting them the goods. So he could do a half load. No. Well, that would make the planks useless. Mm, well. I'll have to think about it on that one. That one's like a half load. Yeah, because their transport's only 21%. So I don't know if these actually gain more as well. That transport's 85%. 
Thanks, we need new goods over here. They also need fuel and goods. But they're connected through here, right? Yeah, so if we just kept going to that dock with that stuff, we could make that work. And there's already something getting delivered. Isn't there? No, that's the truck stop for that, so we're not delivering anything there yet. But we are making fuel here. Oh, and the fuel's going there. Okay, we'd have to transport the fuel back that way. Which we are not. We're getting enough transport, we're not getting enough product. Insanity. This is the part where this game starts to get confusing. You just got so much going on. Uh, you're trying to figure out the best plans for things. Let's go back and check on this guy. How are we doing here? So, ship production, shipments. They could use more coming in, definitely. Well, the bank, bank bounce is through the roof. It's 1973. This is our last three years. We're making just under 50 million at a cost of 30. So we're making almost 20 million dollars a year. As shown here, about 18 million. Hmm. Yeah, if we had a boat come here and pick up here, because they just need it delivered here. So what we need to do is get over here and get this whole whole board running. This is literally just going to be an oil island. That's all they're going to do here. But we also have to get mobile food and the gear parts, which we have. So we're going to work on this for a little bit. Uh, give me 30. Like that. Like that. And like that. I don't know why I didn't put one over here. Like we didn't need one. And like that. Oh, I should have grabbed one more thing while I was in there. Road Depot. Oh, I don't know what else we can do while we're here. We can do uh, streets. What was this? 80 kilometers, 
fifty. Right, those are good. I will take those. It doesn't mess with the injuries industries too bad. But you can still speed up your guys' driving quite a lot. That was probably an unneeded expenditure, but it's on this island that we can actually use. Nothing? Nothing. Okay. I mean, I'm sure there's a use for it, we just have to figure it out. I definitely use that place, but why not? So. You're gonna go there and there. And this is gonna be truck. Mobile. When you, get, when you get here, all you're going to do is load crude. When you get here, all you're going to do is unload it. Get line. Bam. To there. That's going to be truck. Two. Let me get here. You gotta load it. When you get there, you gotta unload it. New line. There you go. Bam. To bam. Truck. Mobile. Obviously, by now you guys know they're gonna load that, and and they're gonna unload that. Now, before we set all this in motion, uh, I think we would put it here. That might be the safest bet. Uh, large terminal. Honestly, I think we're okay with one. That connects. Perfect. Now, this is going to be the one that might be the issue because it's kind of on a cliff face, but you never know. It might work just perfect. Or not. That's because it's so steep. Uh. Good enough, I'll take it. As long as it works. Now. Another new route. It's gonna be there. To there. When they get here, they're going to load the refined oil. When they get here, they're going to unload the refined oil. That's going to be a ship line. Collins. No, it's not crude, it's oil. Bam. Now we just gotta find our nearest. Well, now we can just put one here. But, for, well, I don't know. First things first. Let's get the trucks going. Now, what do we have for cargo? For oil? We sold 21. Those sold 25. They're strictly just doing that. 18, 21, 18, 21. 
And we had what? Three routes for crude, so we need 30 trucks. Which is going to be a big investment. You guys are going on double crude. You guys are going on mobile crude two, mobile crude three. Uh, and then we're going to need one of these. Spin it all the way around so it functions. No? No, don't put it on that side. We'll never. Ah. Oh, I'm going to say, why didn't it spawn it? Five vehicles. We want the one that does oil. We literally just need one of these. And you're going to do Fort Collins oil delivery. Okay. Now, let's watch this for a minute and watch chaos ensue. a trip for our boat, but if I didn't spawn the boat, it would never do it. This is going to be a very busy parking lot. That's for sure. It's going to be pretty well loaded by the time that ship comes back. Hopefully is the keyword. We might have to lift this bridge up though. Because we could feed mobile from here. Might not be the best spot for it on the side of the highway though. Very busy parking lot. All these uh, crude oil stations are like, oh my god, this truck's rolling in. Like all of a sudden, there's 10 trucks coming into each one to get picked up stuff. <clears throat> but. in this episode uh, and we're gonna see how it goes from here I might have to readjust this that's for sure we're gonna have a lot of trucks sitting here doing nothing um, but I can do that later uh, I just want to thank you guys for hanging out appreciate you guys if you guys are enjoying the content make sure you subscribe click that bell icon so you don't miss anything uh, have a great day, stay positive, and I will see y'all in the next episode. See ya.